Oh, what a beautiful day it is. You know what I'd really like to do today is make a raspberry pie pie hole with home assistant so that when I get home it will I'll know how to do everything. Yeah I just need to look up how much raspberry pies cost. I can order that. I'll have to get a camera because I didn't bring my camera, some Ethernet, USB drive. Should take a day to get here. Okay, so we need a Raspberry Pi Zero with an SD card, power supply, and a USB to hook up a keyboard. That's $58. But I also want a M.2 drive. Let's see how much that is. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's an NVMe hat for the Raspberry Pi uh, Zero. And if we got one of these kits, we'd actually have to add a Ethernet port dongle, which doesn't sound too appealing. So let's do the Raspberry Pi 5. So just the Raspberry Pi 5 with 8 gigabytes of RAM is $88. Then we need a case, and then the NVMe board, and then we need the NVMe drive. So we're probably at... $150? There must be a cheaper option to this. <clears throat> so, uh, why don't I just see what's the cheapest mini computer I can get? <clears throat> uh, so, I found an $88 computer, but I really want to have 8 gigabytes of memory and 100 28 gigs of storage at least because if I'm going to be doing a pie hole and um, uh, Home assistant uh, I probably could get away with less uh, the 88 uh, Dollar computer doesn't that doesn't do that but I found a $99 computer This B max pro b1 has 8 gigabytes of memory and a 128 gig EMMC and then expandable with a NVMe slot. Oh, M.2 SATA slot actually. So for about $50 less than the Raspberry Pi, actually for the cost of just a Raspberry Pi 5, I found this. So let's order this. Okay, so I forgot a few things on my order, but it's on its way, and so the things that I need to get still are a USB drive, an Ethernet cable, and then a camera to video with, and an SD card. So let's go do that. Okay, so I got a camera and this will be my second or overhead camera when I get home and I'm actually recording it with it right now. And here is the SD drive I got. It's 32 gigabytes, I think, or 64. And it's 3.2 USB, so it'll be faster. I always get the USB 3 once. Okay, so I forgot the Ethernet cable, so I have to go back to the store now. Okay, well, first we have to fix Nana's computer first. Okay, so what we have here is an old Lenovo laptop. And there's something really strong wrong with it because if you press the power button, nothing happens there. So, so it's probably either a loose connection over there or who knows right at the moment. So we'll have to research that. So in the meantime, we'll give Nana my old uh, Technodad Life laptop. And so you can see it's an old gaming laptop. It has a little worn out spot right there. But pretty good. Okay, so this is really interesting. So uh, basically how I fixed this was basically I just kept on restarting it all the time. 
Well, first, actually, I held the cord over here because I thought it was a loose connection. And then I kept on restarting it, and eventually it gradually got it. So it said there was a Windows update that wouldn't install properly. So then I let go of the cord over here, and it kept on going. So, uh, But, so I found something interesting. So if we go to Windows Updates, there is an update that causes this computer to crash. And so the only way I could stop doing that from crashing every time is actually I had to reinstall Windows. And it, the update should come up here in a second. And it is this one right here. So whenever this tries to install with the original version of the operating system, it would crash. Now when I redo it, it just doesn't install it. It says installation failed. So there's some bug with this. So while I was playing around with that, I did uh, download some Ubuntu, K-Ubuntu, and a virus uh, scanner. So then when we actually do do Home Assistant, then uh, we can fool around with that. So now we just have to, oh, we have to get our ethernet cable first. So let's go do that. Okay, so let's go to the store now. Okay, so I guess I'll fix Papa's computer first, so let's do that. Uh, so he has an Apple laptop, and he does not remember the Apple ID for it, so we're going to have to figure out how to figure out what his Apple ID is. He has it written down, but it's uh, at his home, which is about a thousand miles away from where we are right now. So we can either reset it or figure out how to do it. First of all, figure out see if we can figure out what it is. Uh, if not, then we can reset it. In the meantime, let's go get a ethernet cable. So we got our cable at Office Depot, and I can say don't buy Ethernet cables at Office Depot because they are very expensive. So I, this one, which was three feet, uh, cost ten dollars. If I wanted to get a sixteen foot one, that was like or six foot one, excuse me, that was nineteen dollars. And so we're gonna go cheap, and we got the three foot one. Okay, so now it's time to sit down and relax. Dad, Papa's iPad has a crack in it. Okay, well, before I do that, let me check out his iPad and see if we can get the crack fixed. Okay, so I found someone locally who fixes iPads, or at least it says they do in their ad, so let's call them up. Hello? Yeah? Yeah? Do you fix iPads? Yeah? Okay, yeah, 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 it's uh, I think it's a 2020, yeah, uh, iPad Air, yeah. Okay, so yeah, the screen, yeah, and you'll have to fix or replace the digitizer too. Okay, yeah, and labor, yeah. So, let's see, that's like two, 350 total? Okay, well, okay, yep, okay, yep, bye-bye. So uh, 350 to get his iPad fixed, so let's do that. Okay, so time for some pleasure reading. Oh, my daughter's homework. Okay, so I got Home Assistant installed. I had, actually had to go back to the store and get a keyboard. 
and you can see I have done a few things uh, basically not too many smart home things here so the TV and then there's a printer otherwise I just put in the speed test thing you can see there I added our Edgard home uh, we got the weather and local IP address so Edgar Home, I just started it here on my iPad. You can see it's already changing things. So that's a good start. So my daughter also cut my hair, so now I have no hair because she cut it bald. But this is pretty much what I do on vacation. And so probably in an upcoming video, I'm going to do things that I'll bring in the future so I don't have to go to the store so often so that I can do home lab stuff while on vacation. Take care, have a great day. Uh, bye bye.